Dak Prescott, big night. Here he is at the podium. Officially over for the offense. <laughs> you tell me. I never said we were in a slump. Uh, those were your words. So um, I think it'd be hard for you to say that now. Um, but yeah, tonight tonight was great. Great performance by the offense. Great performance by the team. I mean, scoring on all three phases, um, scoring by all the different ways that we did on offense. Um, yeah, a great team win. Great great team effort. What message do y'all send when having clinched the NFC East in a playoff berth before the game started, you still go out and put out a performance like this? Yeah, I don't know if uh, many people knew that we clinched before before the game. I didn't. Um, that, that's kind of what my message was talking to the guys in the in the circle up right there was about going out and winning this division. Uh, so I mean, I don't, I don't know if we're in the in the world or in the business of trying to send messages more than we're just trying to, to get better um, day in and day out, game after game, and make sure that that we're playing our best ball as I continue to say and peaking at the right time headed into this tournament. You got the hats on. How did the celebration feel after the game? Oh, yeah, it felt good. I mean, obviously winning the division is something that you, you set a team goal to do at the beginning of the year. Um, and to get the T-shirts and hats, that's a cool thing. But I can guarantee nobody in the, the locker room is satisfied with that. You're the first quarterback to throw a touchdown pass to a running back, receiver, tight end, and offensive lineman in the same game in NFL history. Was the, easy, was the easiest throw to steal or to Zeke? What was, what was the easiest one for you? I don't know. Maybe the Schultz one. I don't know. They were. Uh, I, I give credit to Kellen on those. I mean, dialing all of those up at the right time. Um, obviously, great, great looks on on all of those uh, situations. Uh, e even obviously right before half, uh, the one to Amari. I mean, those were just great play calls at the right time, knowing what the defense was doing, and um, just made my job easy to to get the ball to the open guy. Zeke and Amari both mentioned tempo as a big part of why y'all were successful early on. What did you think about that? Yeah, I agree. Uh, I think that's just um, something that if you just look over the, the course of the season, when we're in tempo, um, we're playing some of our best ball, keeping it simple, executing, um, and obviously you're putting the pressure and you're applying the pressure on the defense and forcing them to, to play that you want, uh, to play the defense that you want them to and play more simple. Uh, you get them out of all their game plan and their schemes and uh, it just works for us. Uh, yeah, it works for us well. Were you more decisive with using your legs tonight than you had been? I mean, I think it just the opportunity came. Um, so I saw some lanes, felt the pocket a couple of times that allowed me to get out. Uh, and then as well as, I mean, I just feel good. Body feels good. Um, just knowing that, uh, yeah, felt, felt fast. So obviously back home, back in the turf, and felt good. I was going to say that you looked faster and quicker than, than you have in a while. I mean, did you feel, <laughs> I mean, did you feel that way? I mean, seriously, you looked like you, you had a lot of energy out there. Yeah, no, I mean, I did. But, I mean, I think that just goes into everything that I've put into – the work that I've put into my body um, all season long, honestly, uh, and you do it to, to make sure at this time of the year you're feeling, you're feeling the best. And and when a lot of people are, are hurt and trying to deal with things, I'm fortunate enough that I feel probably better than I, I have all season long. What were your observations of the home crowd tonight, Dad? Amazing, uh, amazing. I mean, that, that atmosphere felt like a playoff atmosphere, obviously. I mean, know we're coming in and trying to win this division and, and uh, do it tonight here at home. And I think the fans, obviously sticking around now, still out here to support. Um, I, with the game lopsided, they stayed. I think it was great all the way around. And I'm fortunate to have the fans that were a big part of the game. What number, nice. Reed was, what number Reed was Terrence on the touchdown? And how long had y'all been talking about Connor only to go to Terrence? One more time. What number? What Reed? number Reed was Terrence in the touchdown? You guys have been talking about McGovern to us. Was that part of the plan all along? Get Evern focused on McGovern and go to Terrence. Uh, no, I mean I wouldn't say that was part of the plan. I mean Kellen just does a great job of dialing up some things, and uh, he was the first Reed, honestly, first and only Reed, and that's why I give credit uh, credit to Kellen. Great play call, um, great great schemed up after the first time that we played these guys to pull that one out. I've been better at home, more explosive at home than on the road all season. And just certainly another example of that, even though we talked about the struggles on the road. But how, I mean, this is another example why you want to be at home during the playoffs. Yeah. I mean, for sure. Uh, as I told you before, I can't really tell you why the difference is at home in, in a way. Um, obviously, we, we want to get the away numbers um, identical to these home numbers. But uh, we're putting ourselves in a position to... Um, to play at home, and I think that that's important to make sure that we're playing our best ball, regardless if it's home and away. As I said, the later part of the season, and we're trending in the right direction. Chris Collinsworth kept talking about your footwork, being in tune with with everything. Did you were there any mechanical thing that you worked on to have an improvement in your footwork at all? He kept saying that you're on your balls, your feet, and doing things that you look smoother. 
during the broadcast? Uh, I mean, I've just continued to work. Um, I, I've told you guys that I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that I was in a slump. I wouldn't say that. Um, now, I would also agree I wasn't playing my best ball. But uh, at the same time, I mean, I've just continued to, to, to work and continue to work at the things that, that I know, trust the guys around me, trust the receivers. And um, I just think that's the process of that. You've been through kind of a rough two-month stretch offensively, whether it's a slump or it's not. Uh, how reassuring is it to go out and play like that at this point in the year? Yeah, I mean, it's good. I mean, I've told you throughout the whole two months, the whole idea is to make sure that we're we're peaking at the right time. So, I mean, we, we just encountered great situations to learn from, um, went through great experiences to learn from and to make sure that we got better from those. And um, as I talked about a process a second ago, I think this is the same thing as that, but we're not going to hang our hats on this game. We're going to we're going to learn from from the mistakes. We're going to take uh, take from the good and we're going to continue to go in the right direction and making sure that we get better from this. Did you see DeMarcus's touchdown when it happened? What did yeah. you tell him after? And if he's got a touchdown and a turnover, what does that mean? Uh, that doesn't double up the points by any <laughs> means. Um, no, but uh, yeah, it was impressive. If anything, I thought maybe we need to get him in over there at the uh, the jumbo wide position and maybe maybe get him a pass. And yeah, it was incredible. Just uh, yeah, the, the high knees and high stepping along the sideline, and yeah, incredible play. I mean, just to drop back after his pass rush and get the interception. Great play. Great play uh, by a great player. The, what is the tally at then now? Yeah, I, I don't. I, I, you tell me. I don't know. I know we we kicked their butts today. I told you they kicked our butts last week, and we got them good today. But we'll continue this thing going. Excited for the challenge next week. Dak, the Christmas the Christmas outfit you had on yesterday. Um, whose idea was that? And and how 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 did the holiday go for you, man? The reindeer outfit. The reindeer. You like that? It was a good look. Yeah. Not everybody um, can pull it off. Yeah, it wasn't my idea. Um, but you know, uh, the girlfriend wanted to wear it, so I wore it and. I actually wore it to the facility. Once I put it on, you know, it felt good. So I just kept it on. That was my, my Christmas Day outfit. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was just blessed. Blessed to be able to uh, have the Christmas that I did, spend time with family, um, friends, my brother, my father. Uh, and obviously, practice on Christmas is also another blessing and just being able to come out and play this game. I'm just very grateful and thankful in the holiday season. Even if winning the division is the else final goal, what does it mean to celebrate in the locker room after the game like this when last year you weren't here at this time and it's been a few years since the playoffs? Uh, yeah, I mean, just it's, it's good to celebrate. As I said, a goal that you set you set out at the beginning of the year. Um, so, just know we're going in the right direction. We're going, um, we're trending in the right direction for our ultimate goal, what we really want to do. So, uh, it's a good celebration. But as I said, nobody's satisfied with this celebration. Um, we're on to, to uh, the next next week. Honestly, now uh, we'll celebrate this tonight. But no, we'll we'll, we'll move forward tomorrow. Uh, I've got a good one here next week, and excited for that that uh, matchup. You've had obviously you've got teams. All right, here you go. Best record in division games. Now, part of this is who else is in the division, right? Um, and it's been the Giants who've been bad. The Eagles have been up and down. And football team that has, you know, they've had their moments and also been rough. Last year, everybody in that division was terrible, but Dak didn't play most of the division games. Obviously got hurt against the Giants. And look at Brady. He's bumping his head on 100 wins in the division. It's just ridiculous. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.